Hi all, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, uh, we'll see how to make this uh, slow flying RC plate using low density thermal core. So here you can see the plans. These plans are available in uh, A4 and A0 and A3. I printed in A3. So you can see it is just three sheets. So if you are printing A4, maybe it will be uh, more. So these are like a three. This is like a separate part like uh, pieces you need to uh, cutting and all okay you can keep this separate just uh, this is about the uh, separate parts and wing related information and uh, here you can see the this is the one part so these two need to be glued so that uh, we can cut the foam in this way okay so what i'll do i will cut it and i will join uh, then i'll be back I mixed fevicol with water so you can use any glue that is water soluble so you can mix it one is to one uh, proportions then uh, you can uh, apply on these sheets then you can place the, this sheet this is called tracing paper or butter paper okay you can place this one for extra strength so I will show you how I will do I'm using this brush so it will be easy for applying and spreading okay so uh, so now uh, we need to place the paper yes. like this. so like this uh, you have to apply for this entire sheet so, so like this this entire sheet i need to apply so what i'll do i'll just uh, apply this and then i'll finish then i'll be back so i've done cutting uh, plants i stick together and i made uh, cutting out of the plant so this these are the parts so this is for the main fuse so this we need to uh, cut two sides like uh, one for the left one for the right. means this will come two times and this is the bottom part these are the winglets uh, for the wing and uh, this is the horizontal stabilizer half other half we need to uh, rotate like this and we need to cut and these are the small pieces for supporting the fuse okay so i will mark on that i will mark these on the sheet and i'll be back so i'll show you the sheet so, so this is the final uh, laminated sheet uh, both sides laminated one with um, so I will mark on it and I will cut then I will be back so I have done cutting the parts so I am just showing only these parts for now uh, when I am building I will show you another parts so first what we need to do is uh, so this I will keep it one side so I can explain properly so uh, this is the center portion means this is the center of the uh, plane so uh, what we need to do is uh, here I have cut this piece so this is not actually uh, separately in plan so what we need to do is so in the fuse you see there is a mark here right so you can see here there is a mark so there is a mark here so here yeah, this much we need to cut okay so you can see in the plan so this space we need to cut okay so this space uh, we need to glue it to this space okay this is one of the piece in smaller one there will be two pieces exactly like this so you take one of the piece glue it here like this okay center then you can place this one after gluing these two just place it here and glue it okay so this will be the bottom of the plane so once it is done 
you can put it like this okay like this then on top you need to glue these two things here then place it here so this where you need to place is you can see uh, in the plan there are some marks right here you need to place it here this will come here actually this is the top and this will go to the bottom so like this okay like this we need to place okay so i will place this one then i'll be back okay so first what i will do is this is for the bottom so first we need to glue these two things together then glue it here so bottom is ready after that on top based on these marks like where exactly it is coming here you need to place this one here okay like this i will do this then i'll be back so as i said earlier so the bottom portion and the top portion it's ready now you can see like this just so now uh, we need to uh, cut this small two pieces uh, okay so to place it here like this just to uh, secure the battery so based on the battery you are using i'm using this battery so i'll just see how much it is required based on the battery you are using you can place it like this okay so i'll do that then i'll be back so now we need to uh, prepare a motor mount so place the mo motor on the motor mount it's very simple just a uh, uh, square one that uh, can be, be available in the plan uh, based on that you can cut it and you can mount the motor on it so now we need to place uh, this one here so to do that what you need to do is uh, you need to take uh, some high density uh, thermocol or depron whatever is available like this okay so one more piece here one more piece here so in between you need to use this pop stick so place it here so that is just like you know? so glue it then you need to mount the motor on it then this portion will go here like this so we can cut a little portion so both sides you can take a support of foam piece one is here and another one is here like this okay so this whole setup will be placed like this so in the bottom you need to use this piece okay so in the bottom it should be like this so this whole setup will be like this so this will be placed like this okay so this we need to glue it here then we can cut this portion and we can place it like this okay so I will do that then I'll be back so instead of Depron if you have a high density uh, foam you can use that okay anything it's fine so I have Depron available a little bit so I'm using it or else you can use the high density foam itself both will work in the same way so now motor mount is ready so here what I did I added one extra uh, piece here for extra support so this piece we saw already so like this now this is ready so now what we need to do is uh, we need to place uh, these things here so we need to align this portion here like this like this okay we have to glue on this one.
so now i will join these two using this small piece okay small piece like this then after that i will cover this one piece and uh, back side also here to here one piece and here to here one piece like multiple pieces i have to take and close all these portions so i will do that then i'll be back Now I will cut the horizontal stabilizer. This is a half, half of the horizontal stabilizer. Just cut this one. After that, just uh, do it like this and mark. Then cut this portion. The whole thing is a horizontal stabilizer. So I will do that. Then I'll be back. So I have done this. So what happened because of uh, this contact? So it will break. So what you can do is uh, you can take this chopsticks and you can glue it here. So it will keep these two. Uh, parts together so it will break like this so you have to give something uh, whatever is available uh, with you so you can use this or you have a carbon fiber rod or bamboo skewer anything anything will work fine so just add like this okay so i will glue this one then i'll be back check like this so that uh, these two pieces uh, will stay together so now what i will do i will just uh, uh, give a bevel for this See, it's not going down so for this moment i need to bevel these edges i will do that then i'll be back now i will cut the uh, vertical stabilizer then i'll be back so uh, i would done this and i will do uh, 40 degrees 45 degrees so bevel here then i'll be back so now vertical stabilizer is ready so now what we need to do we need to place this horizontal and vertical stabilizer on the fuel so first I will uh, place the horizontal stabilizer here then I will place vertical stabilizer on top of this one okay. I'll do this then I'll be back horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer installed here so now we need to work on now we need to work on wing then uh, it's ready for flying we'll start working on wing so now we need to work on wing so wing i made it into three parts uh, you can see here uh, 
uh, you can see uh, center portion is like uh, 1000 mm so you need to take it this is like one piece depend on you know your choice or you can take two pieces of 500 mm also fine so i make it into three parts so this is 1000 mm one in the center uh, this side is a 400 mm this side is a 400 mm so you can see the width is like um, so 200 so 200 for this entire piece this one also you need to take 200 but you need to measure uh, in the edge you need to measure 140 then from here you cut it so that it will you can see some angle here okay even same this one also from here to here three uh, 200 so here also here to here we need to cut then you mark from here to here 140 uh, mm then you connect the line here then you cut it so this is the thing so uh, this wing should get this shape so what you can do is you can mark these uh, lines on the wing so so i already marked here so i already marked here so you can take this as a reference so you can take this as a reference and you can mark these lines so you can cut it and you can bend little bit apply glue so finally finally this should look like this this should be look like this so we have to bend like this so these creases will help us to get uh, this shape so i mark here what i'll do i'll just cut it and i will bend little bit in a little chop then glue it like that slowly i will get this angle like this okay actually this wing it is showing is two fold one okay but i am just doing like one fold okay so i will do that then i'll be back cuts based on the reference lines so now what i will do is i will take this as a reference so what we need to do is we need to keep it like this to get the proper shape just should be like or just see um, from this angle so we should be getting this shape okay so keep this as a reference then fill the glue in these creases so that it, this shape will stay same even without this okay so i will place this then i will be back like this okay so in these gaps now i will fill the glue so that it won't go back shape is ready so now what we need to do is uh, so on top i will apply another uh, uh, coat of that uh, tracing paper so it will be fine so now for the side wings okay for the side wings what i am doing is i'm just doing manually just anyhow uh, we applied this lamination na? so what will happen that will bend just try to get the same shape like this. okay so then we need to glue here like this okay so i will do other one also same way then i will attach So now we need these uh, pieces so this is also in the plan so you can use any material is available for you in this shape uh, wood or any foam or whatever is available for you just use it so these two will be used for the angle so this is the uh, joint for this and the tip okay so, so this is for the timing. so we can place it like this so to hold the angle we will use this okay so i will place this and then i'll be back so i have placed those uh, wood pieces here so now i will uh, glue
ring is ready now so i attached both sides and you can see the angle here so i can't show you entire thing due to uh, restriction so you can see this side you can see this side both sides i have done so now i think we need to add electronics on the fuselage then it's ready for flying so this is ready now so you can see elevator so this flex i will fix by adding some wire here okay then and you can see here this rotor so i have to add one stick here and another stick here to hold the wing on the fuse then it is ready for flying so my previous motor was like underpowered so what i did i changed the motor to 2200 kb little bigger motor so to get the clearance what i did i just increase the uh, height of this motor mount from here to here i increase a little bit so that even if i change to another motor also i can use a little bigger prop so that is the change i did and uh, another thing is i made wing with a little uh, thicker thermocol okay so previous one didn't give a proper result so it is folded in the mid air so it's like that so this is the change i did so i'm using a 2200 kv motor with the bull nose propeller and 30 amps esc so these are the changes i did so i'm going to use 1300 mah battery 3s battery so now i'm in the field so I will do a flying test then I'll show you.